everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is Saturday, October the 7th, and I ran another mile this morning. Um, it's been challenging. Uh, it's been challenging for me lately. There have been a number of things that have been going on. Um, mostly though, of course, all of the blame is on my side um, for eating the wrong things, for not really focusing 100% on actively trying to push myself so that I can reinvigorate myself. And also at the same time, some unusual things have been happening that almost seem to come from, as I've said in, in previous videos, and I hope that you don't just change the channel, so to speak, when you hear this, but not too long ago, I started putting out requests for both by phone and also on this channel for reasonable rainfall prayers. And so in other words, I had a, a prayer request going on this channel. And for whatever reason, I have not seen a whole lot of participation in terms of who normally would be responding uh, in these type of segments. And instead, I've seen that people have lashed out at me when I posted other variations of that same message uh, to include even um, just basically playing some music on this channel. I've had people say things that were um, a little bit, what's a good word? Uncouth, unkind, and also possibly untrue. Don't forget bearing false witness against one's neighbor is something that is listed as one of the 10 do not do's. And I'm not here to judge or criticize but that doesn't mean that I cannot provide my insight when it comes to the observations of what we are doing with one another, uh, how we are treating one another. And sometimes, as, as I say in my song anyway, I can seem, seemingly see the wreckage through the waves by the way each one of us behaves. And what that means is some of us are prone to be incensed whenever we hear something that might not resonate with us properly. And that can be a dangerous thing because many of us aren't thinking our own thoughts. Many of us are thinking thoughts that are based on, well, what will so-and-so think of me if I do this, or if I wear that, or if I participate in X, Y, or Z, and so on and so forth. So with all of these abstract thoughts in mind, I wanted to simplify it and say, whoever's in favor of peace, you know, let's just try to wish one another well-being, wish one another uh, prosperity, wish one another the opposite of catastrophe and cataclysm. But in the meantime, again, saying things like that seemingly can attract distractions. But that doesn't mean that I got distracted. It just means that it's a little bit harder to work through the, um, the muck, so to speak. And so with all of that in mind, I'm going to tell you today is the 7th of October. I've run six days in a row for at least one mile. Yesterday, I ran a 5K really slow, by the way. It was basically almost an hour that it took, but it was still under an hour. And to me, that's, you know, it's something that I had intended to do from the beginning when I first started this journey. And it's been a process. And that process has included some support um, in the form of not the exact form that I would have expected, but it's been the right support to get me to where I'm at right now so that I can be talking with you right now. And so for that reason, and because of who might be watching, I wanted to start out by saying thank you to the person who commented and said that my song that I was playing sounded like another song by a group who had covered a song by another group. And when I started to think about it, I put all the chords together in my head and I, I recognized, hey, you're not, you're not wrong. I actually played something of my own that sounded slightly like someone else's, but using an entirely different chord structure and a whole different thought process. And, but it was so close that I was able to start practicing the other song which I also have heard, and I was able to even learn the original song by the band that presented the song initially, and then was covered by the next band, and then now 
it's been covered by myself as well. So all of those things are things that basically have brought me great um, experience. And also possibly these are things that have brought me closer to you, the audience. And in one recent presentation, I played another cover of a song uh, called Higher. And when I was playing it, I was playing it because I was starting to learn it based on a request that I had from another group who I wanted to join and who had initially shot me down because I wasn't supposedly in the same wavelength as whatever they were in. Now, when I played that song, I played it on a guitar that has an occult theme. It's basically a glow in the dark guitar and it's the only guitar that I had that was in drop D tuning at the moment. So that's what I grabbed. That's what I played. And I also understand after sharing that video with the, with the person who wanted to see my, my credentials that I have not received a response as of yet. And some of those thoughts resonate. They resonate in a way where it's like, I think about it. I know that you're thinking about it, not you specifically, unless it is you specifically, because oftentimes that's when things happen. Listen, did you hear the car going by? So every once in a while, we receive these things called synchronicities that tell us a little bit about whether we're on the correct path or not. And you can hear a lot of distractions around me. Listen again. You can hear a lot of distractions around me that seemingly come out of nowhere whenever I talk about these things. And they're, in my mind, they're, they're really weak efforts of trying to distract me from being able to deliver a message that I feel like I'm here to deliver. So if you're, if you're able to hear these messages, if you're able to understand that I don't care about the points that I'm getting for these videos, someone told me I didn't get any points for my videos. If you understand that the knowledge that I'm sharing is a different type of knowledge that's not abstract or theoretical, it's real knowledge. It's like if I present a video that says, if you really haven't experienced anxiety yet, you might want to try driving the speed limit in a national park. Something like that will cause you anxiety when you have traffic behind you that wants to pass, but for whatever reason, or wants you to go faster. And for whatever reason, they won't pass you, even on the passing lanes. They won't pass you because they're tied, they're stuck in, a, in some kind of a, on a course. They can't see the, they can't see the things that are happening that allow them the opportunity to choose that free will. They just want to see someone as their own roadblock and then take out the hostility on them. That's what I felt. And that might just be because in my place in the world, for whatever reason, these are the kind of encounters that I have. And recently, just as another example, I was sent a check and that check for whatever reason, even though I was told it was going to be arriving in my mailbox that day from the postal system, it did not arrive. And in my mind, I think that it was all the way down to the person who was putting it into the mailbox. They could have put it into the right mailbox, but it went into the wrong mailbox. So now here I am coming up a little bit short because I don't have the funds that were necessary to cover whatever I was going to cover with it. But that's okay. I'm not really worried. I've talked here quite a bit about whether or not my own parents, my father would endorse me in terms of what I was doing, whether he would approve of what I was doing. And I've told you that I have an unusual relationship with my family such that my own father believes, he believes more in the people who robbed him of his property than he would believe in his only son who really only cared if he was sober. I don't really have any kind of consideration for anything other than if you are having trouble, if you're having trouble, I'm trying to help. I'm doing everything that I know how to. And so in that effort, there are people that have uh, certain situations where they want to call it uh, bipolar disorder. They want to call it, you know, some, some mental deficiency of some sort. And a lot of, a lot of times the people I'm talking with that have been diagnosed at a certain level will try to tell me that I have some kind of an imbalance that I'm, that I'm not quite the way that I should be. There's a song called, and actually it's not, it's not just that I'm talking about this song at random. It's the song that I started saying the thank you about. There's a song called 
Jesus don't want me for a sunbeam. And it basically says the first, the first parts of the, the song by the Vaselines, it, it, it goes, Jesus don't want me a sunbeam because sunbeams are not made like me. And it's a song that's basically someone's pouring out their heart, saying something about how they don't feel sufficient. And you can interpret the song a whole lot of different ways. But in my experience, I think any of us can feel that that same not being able to measure up to someone else's expectations, whether it's our fathers, our, our, our employer, or whoever it is, there's going to be somebody whose measure we're not going to measure up to. The big difference between whether or not we have a terrible time of that experience is whether or not we are able to try to communicate with that person who sees a deficiency in us. It's not a judgment. It's not a critique. It's basically that we're here with one another to try and learn something, to try and further ourselves. And for whatever reason, I think that that, that approach has stopped in the world. And so now we're just relying on everybody else to try and figure out how to solve a problem. Very infrequently do we ourselves stop to see the wake that we're causing behind us. And, and, and very rarely do we stop to see what we can do, what kind of a line we can throw out to one another to try and save a life. On that note, I want to present you with a song, and I hope that you enjoy it because it took me a while to kind of try to dial it in to something that I thought might sound presentable to you. I hope you stay tuned. I hope you're having a great day. I hope that if you have been thinking about running and you have never considered actually trying it until just now when you saw this and you thought, well, that guy can run a mile. Why can't I? If, if you're considering running, just backtrack through this volume and I'll tell you, the number one thing to do is at least have some good shoes. You know, you can, you can start with any shoes that you have actually, but the difficulties that you might experience along the way, if you don't have the proper gear, are going to cause a little bit of a slower amount of progress than you would have expected in the past. Probably 
the same as me trying to sing without having something to amplify my voice over the, over the guitar um, has hindered me. Having the wrong shoes right off the bat definitely hindered me. And I, I slowed my progress by developing difficulties in my knees at first, but I kept at it. Now here I am almost eight or nine months later where I've got the ability to run a, a mile, run a 5K. Right now I'm still going a little bit slow. Sometimes I can go faster. It really depends on how I'm feeling. But when the world around you is raining down hostility, sometimes it's really hard to do it. Sometimes it's really hard to put in the effort, but as long as you put in the effort and as long as you can make it through that muck of a day, you're probably gonna do really great on a great day. Today outside, it's gonna be in the mid 70s, possibly the low 80s. It's nice and cool, it's overcast, it was, it was beautiful. Not that it hasn't been for the rest of the year, but here where I'm at, we have an extreme drought that was happening, and I would say it's still ongoing, even though we've had a decent amount of rain. And so I'm gonna reiterate my request that hopefully we can pray with one another so that we can experience reasonable rainfall in all of the areas that need that. And you can take that however you need it, however you need, need it to be meant. If you need the reasonable rainfall to be a redistribution of some kind of, a, uh, of wealth, of, of, of something that you're, you're feeling that you're lacking, remember, you really just have to persist through this and have a great attitude about it. Without having the right attitude, which definitely is a, a fundamental piece of the word gratitude, you're not able to be thankful about the situation. Waking up itself can be a challenging uh, event. So thank you so much for everyone who's been watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting and providing helpful information that I can take back and redistribute back into your direction uh, with, with gratitude. Until next time, thanks so much for watching. Peace, love, and all that old school stuff.